Greetings, folks. I'm Rob Machado for AOPA Live. Suppose you had an engine failure and had to put an airplane down in an austere environment. And I'm speaking of a place with boulders, trees, poles, unoccupied vehicles, and so on. While there are many things you need to know to pull something like that off and minimize the risk, I'd like to share with you just one of them. Airplanes designed under Part 23 of the Federal Aviation Regulations require that cockpits be designed to give each occupant a reasonable chance of escaping serious injury if the cockpit experiences a maximum longitudinal load of 9 Gs in a forward direction. In other words, if you make an emergency landing and can manage to decelerate in such a way that you experience no more than 9 Gs, then the cockpit is likely to remain intact enough to help you escape without serious injury. So the question is, what's the minimum distance necessary in which to slow down, decelerate, and pull no more than 9 Gs? And to answer that question, we need a chart. And oh, there's one. This chart shows the minimum distance required for uniform deceleration at various speeds so as to prevent the airplane from experiencing more than 9 Gs. For instance, with a ground speed of 50 knots, you need to slow down in no less than 12.3 feet, that's no less than 12.3 feet, to keep the cockpit intact. Now keep in mind that Uniform deceleration means that the airplane's speed decreases proportionately throughout the entire distance, not all at once near the end of 12.3 feet, which is always what seems to happen to Wiley e. Coyote in every Roadrunner cartoon. So what's the payoff for you if you do this? Well, let's have a look. In this example that happened 25 years ago, the pilot of this airplane attempted a takeoff in a fully loaded Cessna 172 on a high density altitude day from a runway on this side of that brick wall. He managed to get over the brick wall and then entered the window of an unoccupied second floor office building. Had he hit the side of that building, he would have decelerated so quickly that he would have surely experienced more than nine Gs. Instead, in this instance, chance favored his unprepared mind. He and his three passengers walked downstairs where the secretary said, hey, how'd you guys get here? And he allegedly replied, we flew in. Well, <laughs> looking closely at this picture, it appears that the distance between the nose of the airplane and the midpoint of the fuselage is about 13 feet. If we assume that he entered that window at 50 knots, then it's clear that the cockpit experienced less than 9 Gs during deceleration, thus perhaps explaining why all four people escaped without serious injury. Now, just to be clear, I use this as an example to make a point and not as a model for good uh, behavior, heaven forbid. The fact is that during an emergency landing in unfriendly terrain, you want to try and land in such a way that the environment helps absorb the energy of impact. Remember, I'm talking about unfriendly terrain here. And this is what might allow you to decelerate slowly and experience no more than nine Gs of deceleration, preferably much less. So thank you for tuning in to AOPA Live. I'm Rod Machado.